Hello, my name is Clifford Long, and I'm an Instrumentation Engineering Technologist Instructor, IET Instructor here at the Red Deer College. Um, you can check me out if you want to, uh, since I'm not able to be here today, you can check me out on LinkedIn, add me on LinkedIn. It's, uh, if you haven't heard of it, a social network for kind of um, industry. Uh, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about instrumentation, uh, where it is, and why you should uh, maybe get into instrumentation or uh, you can come here to RDC for some of the other programs as well that we offer. Uh, so the first thing, instrumentation, what is it? Two words best describe it, measurement and control. Um, there's a lot of automation that goes into instrumentation and it's basically, we gotta sense something and then control it. And some of those things that we are sensing and controlling are temperature, pressure, flow, level, composition, and the list kind of goes on. It could be the pH, uh, conductivity, some other things like that as well. But the, the primary four would be temperature, pressure, level, and flow. And where is all this measurement and control done? It's typically done, well, any industrial process. Any industrial process out there I can almost guarantee you there's gonna be some sort of instrumentation on it. Uh, petrochemical, oil and gas, pulp and paper, power generation, pharmaceuticals, and the list also goes on. Any industrial process. So it kind of gives you some ideas of where you might find it. Why instrumentation? I love instrumentation, I got lucky. Um, I made my decision in high school. We had kind of a, uh, a, a COM course in high school, I think it was called COM, uh, career, and career Development Course, and it pointed me towards instrumentation. I was a big fan of automation, uh, computers, making things run on their own, and I'm glad it pointed me there. The highlight for my career, um, I love, learning about these processes right here and kind of how they work. And with instrumentation, you are basically working with the brain of the process because the instrumentation system and the control system, it measures, it makes measurements, takes those measurements, solves logic, there's a lot of programming involved, solves logic and then outputs a signal to say a valve or a pump to, to, to speed it up and slow it down and have the two kind of main examples. So. It's the brain of the process. You become a very valuable asset because you know the system inside and out. And that probably is why, leading to the next point, why the typical salary for an instrumentation technician is $130,000. So Global News put out a report here in uh, the fall of 2018. You can Google this online. The five highest paying uh, jobs than not requiring a university degree, an instrumentation technician was the top at $130,000. Uh, enrolling in the Instrumentation Engineering Technologist program here at RDC gets you into uh, the industry. Uh, as a technician, there's kind of, there's kind of, to kind of speak to that, there's kind of three levels out there in industry. There's the technician level, the technologist level, and the engineer. And um, engineer usually all design, usually mostly all office work. Technologist is kind of the bridge between the technician and the engineer. The technician is more hands-on, you're working with the tools, you're doing a lot of calibrating, connecting, configuring, troubleshooting, and the technologist bridges between those two. So quite often the technologist is labeled as the person that kind of the liaison between the engineer and the technician. He usually is put in place on new projects, make, get things get, gets, gets things working. He's had a little bit higher education than a technician, right? Um, and one other note, actually, to go towards that $130,000 that's listed there, uh, making instrumentation such a high-paying job, is uh, there is no institution in Alberta or Canada that I know of that offers an instrumentation engineering that highest level. Um, so if you enroll in an instrumentation engineering technologist program, the technologist level is about as high as you can go here in Canada. Uh, so I think there's a few institutions in the U US that offer an instrumentation engineering program, but it's not very, it's not very easy to find. So uh, at that technologist level, it usually gives you more responsibility, usually giving you higher pay, right? So, um, so why RDC? Why RDC? Uh, RDC, the, one of my favorite things about the instrumentation, sorry, I guess the engineering, the engineering technology programs here at RDC is they have mixed discipline capstone projects. So the final project 
and uh, the second year of training. Um, the capstone project involves some project management and usually some design work. You get to work with, or likely get to work with, uh, someone from the electrical program, someone from the mechanical program. We mix them all together and give them a project. No other institution that I know of does that. And that really sets us apart from the other institutions because this is what happens in industry. And I think once industry catches word of this, it's going to make grads from the RDC program a very hot commodity. So the mixed discipline capstone projects, they're very key, a uh, key reason as to why to come to RDC here. And of course, RDC has very passionate instructors. We all love teaching. All my colleagues are very smart. They share, uh, and that makes, we have a really tight-knit community with the engineering technology programs here. And uh, I think that produces some really cool, real quality instructors because everyone's not, no one's really scared to bounce ideas off each other. We're all willing to help each other, and we all work really hard. We pour a ton of work into, into our students, and um, um, I'm very proud to work alongside my colleagues. Um, if I was, if I was uh, anyone coming out of anyone coming out of high school, or anyone looking for a new career, I would strongly suggest RDC. We have some excellent instructors here. Um, so yeah, check me out on uh, LinkedIn here if you have any other questions. Uh, so you just look me up, Google search Clifford Long. Uh, my LinkedIn profile should come up if you want to connect with me. And uh, if you have any more questions about instrumentation or about uh, the program that we offer here at RDC. Uh, I also do post, I have some posts of uh, some of the stuff that our students uh, were involved in or did uh, over this past year as well on LinkedIn, so it'd be worth checking that out as well. So. Uh, good luck in your uh, decision on your program uh, that you choose or institution that you choose uh, and I'd love to see you here at RDC. Have a great day.